Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida for the start of the Season 11 Summer Showdown, Round 3. We only have 18 drivers left in the field, and after this round, 13 will remain. Starting here at the Daytona International Speedway. After Daytona, we'll move on to Charlotte, then to North Wilkesboro. Only five drivers be eliminated this time instead of the usual eight. And in round two, eliminated Jones, Amarola, Logano, Byron, Busher, Dillon, Kenseth, and Ryan Priest. Now we're going to check out the ACS drivers to watch for for Daytona. Brad Kozlowski draws the pole position for a random draw for the Firecracker 200. He is always a good shot here for the win at Daytona. Logano, the favorite in the garage. A great place racer, but unfortunately he's not in round three. And then Hamlin, he's currently the daddy of Daytona. James Dennis Allen Hamlin. And then Scott Wimmer making his Affleck Cup Series debut from the power of Wimmer 33 fan. And then Chase Elliott unluckily drew the 34th starting spot. He has a great card today. We'll see if he can work his way to the front. And Kurt Busch, the unluckiest man in Daytona, drawing the final position in a random draw for the starting lineup. Now let's go trackside for the command. Drivers, start your engines. The cars fire up on the 4th of July, and we are ready to go racing in Daytona. But first, we're going to check out that starting lineup. On the pole, it's big, bad, Brad Kozlowski next to young Ryan Blaney. And row two, Austin Dillon next to John Hunter Nemechek. Row three, it's Joey Slogano and Corey LaJoy. Row four finds that Jones boy next to Kyle Busch. In row five, Tyler Reddick and Carter Edelman. Row six, Denny Hammer and Hamlin and Danny Suarez. Row seven, the showman Bowman next to Eric Amaroli. Row eight is Clint Boya next to Ricky Spinhouse Jr. In row nine, it's Willie B. Bill Byron next to Christopher Bell. Row 10, Chris Busher next to Ryan Priest. And in row 11, it's the Rocket Man, Ryan Newman next to Guido. Row 12, Kevin Happy Harvick. Michael McDowell. Row 13, Bubba Wallace and Scott Wimmer. Row 14, Ty Dillon and Jamie McMurray. And row 15, Max Kansas. And Goose. Row 16, Jimmy, seven-time, two-time champion Johnson. Next to Martin Truex Jr. Row 17 is Cold Custard and the fan favorite Chase Elliott. And row 18 is Kurt Busch. And now the race rundown for Daytona. We're going to have 10 laps coming at you. That's a total of 25 miles. 120 degrees is the track temperature outside. It's 86 degrees. And the last time we were here is season eight. And Kyle Larson was the winner. Now we go green flag racing. Keselowski and Blaney lead us to the line. Keselowski clear to the lead. Blaney's going to follow suit behind him. Look at Corey LaJoy getting a push from Kyle Busch on the outside. LaJoy to second place. Keselowski's got a huge lead. The pack's going to catch up to him after lap one. Moving on to lap two. Cars fly by the front stretch here. Keselowski leads him through turn two. He's up the hill high. LaJoy's going to sneak low. And Corey LaJoy rockets to the race lead here in Daytona. Kyle Busch getting a push from Carter Adelman on the outside. Blaney and LaJoy, the front two. Here comes Bush and Dillon fighting for third. Blaney's going to move up into the surging outside lane with Kyle Bush and takes the lead with a push from Bush. Austin Dillon now to the second position. Oh, he blocks Jones way too low. They make contact. Dillon's fading fast. Four wide going into three. How's that going to work? It doesn't. They crash. Hard nose into the wall. Both Dillon brothers up into the wall hard, including many other drivers. Kevin Harvick spun through the grass. Eric Amarola in it. Joey Logano, the favorite. Harvick, really the only one in this crash able to go. Look at Stenhouse on his side here in Daytona. Scary, frightening crash here in turn three. It all happened when Austin Dillon made it four wide. Well, he didn't really make it four wide, but the drivers made it four wide on poor old Austin there. Right here it is. Just to know where to go. Chris Buescher, what a save, by the way. But, oh, Dillon... Both Dillon brothers going nose first into the wall. Pop Pop is not going to like to see that one. Look at Kevin Harvick spin out through the grass. He goes. Daniel Suarez gets clipped down into Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell is in the playoffs still. And here it is. Here's the block from Dillon. Blocks Eric Jones way too low. 
Eric Jones just didn't have anywhere to go. Then Dylan ends up getting a four-wide move there. A bunch of cars involved here. This is the biggest crash of Season 11 by far, including 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 drivers in this one. Austin Dillon is okay. Every driver is reported out of their race cars when the net's down into the ambulances, and we are ready. So an aggressive pack breaks out early. Blaney will lead the charge here. Green flag is back in the air on lap 4 of 10. Alex Bowman pushing Ryan Blaney past Eric Jones for the race lead. Blaney is attempting to migrate the pack to the top here in Daytona. The cars fly down the backstretch. As they go through three and four, look at Blaney trying to lead the charge up there, but an inside lane is forming. Definitely looks like the inside lane is the way to go here. Look at Clint Boyer getting a push from De Benedetto and Elliott. Ryan Blaney rounding that high side off of turn one and two. But that inside lane is surging. He's going to have to block here eventually. Look at Chase Elliott getting a push from McMurray. Off of turn four, Clint Boyer pushes Ryan Blaney yet to another lap lead. Boyer's going to look high. That opens the door low for Chase Elliott. Side by side for second place. Ryan Blaney has to pick a lane to block. He's too late with it. Elliott to the inside. Fighting Clint Boyer for the race lead. Elliott to the lead. We'll let the crowd do the rest. Cole Custer now moves into second place. We'll go on board with Cole. Both him and Elliott started in the same row. Now they find each other first and second after starting in row 17. How about that advancement there? Oh, look at Chris Busher get loose off of turn four. Turn, turn four is usually a bad turn for these drivers. Down the back they go. Just three laps remaining in Daytona. Elliott gets out to a lead. Oh, DiBenedetto gets put into the wall by Boyer. That's going to bring out a caution to Kyle Busch. Gets dumped late by William Byron. Caution is out on the racetrack. Byron involved with Kyle Busch late. The Benedetto gets spun in front of the field and stays high. So nobody else gets involved besides late action here. Oh yeah, the Benedetto just kind of looked like he's trying to go in front of Cliff Boyer to get a push. Just way too late on that commitment. And then Kyle Busch looks like he was slamming on the brakes. William Byron did not exactly do that. Watch the top here. Yeah, Kyle Busch gets on the brakes to avoid this one as he's in the lane De Benedetto is in. And William Byron just completely gets up to him. There's once again De Benedetto. Just nowhere to go for old Guido. And then there it is. Man, you hate to see that for both Kyle Busch and William Byron. Byron is out of the playoffs, but Kyle Busch and Matt De Benedetto are not. So Daytona is wreaking havoc on these drivers here. Now Chase Elliott will lead us back to the green flag. Cole Custer, the rookie, on the outside, has not had a stellar season. Stuart Haas fills in row two. Green flag is back in the air. Oh, we got a spinner on the start. It's Ryan Priest. He goes up and collects Scott Wimmer and Alex Bowman. Caution is out. Alex Bowman involved there. Scott Wimmer, Ryan Priest. Looks like Priest got a bump on the restart of this race. That he did not like from Scott Wimmer. This car was not ready to go. Goes right up into Scott Wimmer. Alex Bowman has Scott Wimmer come across his nose. I think Alex Bowman also gets damage from Ryan Priest there as well. Yeah, oh, Bowman just runs into both of them there. Unfortunate circumstance for Alex Bowman as well. He is a playoff driver. Scott Wimmer is just a one-off driver. So that's unfortunate for him as well. Ryan Priest was eliminated in the playoffs last week as well. Now Alex Bowman going to the garage. Scott Wimmer getting the hook. What a beautiful looking race car. Ryan Priest, yet another one. So let's try that one again at Daytona. Two laps remain. Chase Elliott and Cole Custer. Green flag back in the air. Elliott gets the surge early. He'll take the lead over Cole. Getting a push from Kevin Harvick. Harvick spun out. And the first cause in this race, now he finds himself in second. But look at McMurray getting a push from Michael McDowell out of all drivers. Off of turn four, coming to the white flag. Chase Elliott leads his home. Can you lead the final lap? Oh, they're letting him get out there. They're setting him up. Here comes Harvick, looks high, looks low, gets the run. He's going to get a push from Denny Hamlin. McMurray helping Elliott on the outside. 
Harvard gets out there, but Elliott's gonna surge back. Side by side off a of four. Here comes McMurray, makes a three wide at the line, and I do not know who won that one. What a finish in Daytona. Photo finish, no word on the winner just yet. That may have been the closest finish in Aflac Cup Series history. Let's take a look at that final lap. Look at Harvick, get the run. Gets the push from Hamlin. Past Elliott, but does not go to block. Elliott gets a great push from McMurray. McMurray's gonna try and win it for himself. Harvick and Elliott make contact, and there it is. The winner of this race is Chase Elliott in the 19. Barely beating out McMurray for the victory. And this is the closest finish in series history. There it is. By a nose, Chase Elliott. Oh, man, it's like the cars finish when Lightning McQueen sticks his tongue out to get the victory. That's it for Chase Elliott, or at least tie the race, I should say. But Elliott does the burnouts here in Daytona. What a victory as the crowd is loving it here. In Daytona Beach, the fan favorite gets her done and burns her down in front of the crowd. And he's saluting them in that Napa patriotic paint scheme on the 4th of July. What a day for the series and what a day for Chase Elliott. Gets that first win and the hard work finally pays off for that team. They have been so consistent and now they are victors in season 11. Now the point standings, Chase Elliott at the top. He's highlighted in green. He is locked in to round four. Jay McMurray had a good showing today. He's second in points. Harvick, Hamlin, Clint Boyer, Jimmy Johnson, Bubba Wallace, and Martin Truex Jr. And here's where it gets tight. Two points just for Tyler Reddick and Brad Kozlowski above Alex Bowman, Matt DiBenedetto, Kyle Busch is seven points out. Ricky Stenhouse on his side. He's 11 points out. And Christopher Bell is a harsh 15 points out already. So that's going to be a lot to make up for Christopher Bell. But he has talent. I believe he can do it. Then here's the 19th through 26th. These drivers have been eliminated from the playoffs here in Season 11 Summer Showdown. It's the grueling way it goes. And it'll be continuing to go that way as we move forward. As five drivers are on the cut line now on that chopping block. It's going to get intense. Now your finishing results here in Daytona. Chase Elliott, McMurray, Harvick, Hamlin, Cole Custer. How about that? Your top five, Bryce Harvey, Michael McDowell, Corey LaJoy, Clint Boyer, and Ryan Newman, your top 10. That's what you got to love about these plate tracks. You get some beautiful looking top 10s and top fives. Here's your 21st through 30th. A lot of these drivers have crashed out. Scott Wimmer, unfortunately, in the car number 23, finishes 23rd. Then your 31st through 35th here, Ricky Stenhouse, Ty Dillon, Daniel Suarez, Hunter Nemechek, and Christopher Bell. So next race, we go to Charlotte. For the Coca-Cola Dash. We're excited for that one. Hope everybody enjoyed this. I love making this track. This race was a lot of fun to do. We'll see you next time. This is JG24, JM26, signing out.